Thank you, everyone, uh, for joining us. At MasterCard, we know there is an opportunity to better serve women-owned and run businesses, not just because it's the right thing to do, but also because it makes good business sense. When a third of businesses are owned by women, and yet they only receive 5% of overall loans, it's really impossible to ignore the inequality and the opportunity. MasterCard has pledged to provide 25 million women-owned or led businesses with solutions that can help them grow their businesses by 2025. One of these very powerful partnerships is with Seneca Women, a global leadership platform and media company centered on the principle that advancing women and girls will fast forward us all to a more equitable and prosperous world. Today, I'm joined by Seneca Women's co-founder, Ambassador Milan Verbeer. Uh, Milan was the first ever ambassador at large for global women's issues at the US State Department and worked on behalf of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to coordinate foreign policy issues and activities related to the political, economic, and social advancement of women and girls. She has also served as chair and co-CEO of Vital Voices Global Partnerships. MasterCard and Seneca Women have been working together for their soon to be launched Seneca Women Card. The card will be the ever first ever, excuse me, the card will be the first ever credit card that rewards a consumer when they shop at women-owned businesses. With that, we'd like to welcome Milan and thank her for her time. Well, thank you, Carlos. It's such a pleasure to be with you. Uh, it's wonderful to be able to partner with MasterCard on this. And I must say, it's also personally wonderful for me to be back uh, at the uh, Financial Alliance uh, for Women's Conference because uh, they do extraordinary work, as I know you agree as well. Without a doubt. Thank you so much, Milan, for joining us here. I just have a few questions, if I may, about, about the partnership and, and your approach to it. You know, deciding to launch a credit card as, as the primary advocacy uh, organization and function, uh, how, how did you come to that decision? Why, why a credit card and why MasterCard? Well, as you know, and I think certainly the Alliance knows so well because they've been working on this issue, uh, the credit shortfall is significant the world over. I think it's something like $300 billion uh, in terms of the gap for women-owned businesses. Well, access to markets is also an incredibly big challenge for women-owned businesses. Uh, and we have long cared about women entrepreneurs, certainly in advocacy, but in other ways through other projects. Uh, and we thought that if we could incentivize um, purchasing power, if we could incentivize uh, potential shoppers to move them to women-owned businesses, uh, that that would create uh, in the aggregate an incredible increase in income uh, for these businesses, in the success of these businesses, um, and we hope could be uh, using uh, a term associated with this conference, transformative. Um, one of the things I learned over the years, both in and outside of government, is just how powerful uh, women-run SMEs are to the greater economy. Uh, you know, it once was described to me as, as sort of that great force uh, at the back of economies in terms of growth, in terms of creating jobs, in terms of uh, really inclusive prosperity. It's, it's good for the women-owned business. It's good for the, the society at large. Um, and, you know, one way that we think could really bring about more significant outcomes uh, in terms of markets is using incentives. Uh, and I know at MasterCard, uh, you use incentives uh, for all kinds of reasons. You know, we're using incentives uh, here in the United States to get people to get their COVID vaccination. Incentives are powerful. Uh, and we hope that getting 3% cash reward back on every purchase at a woman-owned business uh, will in the aggregate have tremendous uh, impacts. Uh, but it couldn't happen without MasterCard and this is a partnership. Uh, and so that uh, together, if we reach this point, I think uh, it will be of enormous benefit uh, to women-owned businesses. Thank you, Milan, for, for that explanation. We're very excited at MasterCard of working together and building this uh, community and the marketplace for the benefit of all, all these women-owned businesses. Could you tell us a little bit about how the marketplace has been created 
which women's businesses are selected to join, what does scale look like, any factors that, that you can share for others to, to emulate around the world? Well, we're very excited about the marketplace, but it is MasterCard that has played a big role in this, uh, in this proposition. Uh, we are indeed guaranteeing uh, that the, the businesses in the marketplace are women owned. Uh, we have um, reached out and procured the best resources uh, to uh, gather the data that we need to make those guarantees. Uh, that these are genuinely women-owned businesses. Uh, and the other part of this is that uh, it's not a static marketplace. Uh, we want to grow this. And one of the ways uh, we're, we're looking to grow it is by having people nominate uh, women-owned businesses to be in the marketplace. And of course, you're going to get tremendous nominations, people who love their women-owned business, want to help grow their market. Uh, this has um, enormous potential. But this is a very difficult part of trying to pull off what we're doing together. Uh, and frankly, it's the technology, the expertise, the know-how of MasterCard that is going to be so instrumental uh, in this piece. But we think that the marketplace is very powerful uh, because being able to drive um, revenue, new income to those businesses uh, is going to really profoundly change them for the better and benefit them for the better. Uh, but again, this is where partnerships are so vital. Uh, and the partnership that MasterCard affords uh, is really uh, critical uh, to this aspect of uh, the card. Yeah, we completely agree, Milan. I think the, the experiences MasterCard has had with other marketplaces and the ability uh, to direct all that experience and technology to driving women's businesses sales is um, is great for all of us and uh, and for the women at the end. Perhaps to that extent, uh, if you had to give any any advice uh, to uh, women who wanted to join this uh, marketplace or other countries looking to create similar structures, uh, how would you summarize what we've learned through this process? Well, I think certainly to join the marketplace. Uh, it's open uh, season, so to speak. Uh, one can nominate and we will review the nominations and that will play a very uh, big role in helping those businesses. I think in terms of replicating some, something like this, that is an e enormous proposition. And what I would encourage in those instances of people uh, interested uh, is to get in touch with us uh, because we are also interested in expanding to other markets. Uh, and once we can get this off the ground in a really uh, workable fashion to bring the kind of results we all want to see, um, that will, will have the impact. And again, I think it's the power of partnerships. Um, MasterCard has been deeply committed. Uh, to growing a women's entrepreneurship, uh, as you mentioned, uh, but also in expanding its digital, uh, women's digital capacities. Um, and we think this card will profoundly enhance that. Uh, so it is in working together and working with others uh, that hopefully we can bring the kind of benefits to women-owned businesses that we're determined and hopeful of bringing. Thank you, uh, Milan. We, we are very committed to this space, our target of 25 million uh, women to be included globally. And, and we see a lot of uh, potential challenges, but ones we can work through uh, together. Um, I really uh, appreciate uh, your time and comments and the partnership. We're going to work very hard to make this successful on both sides. And we encourage uh, people to join. And if there are other great ideas to reach out, to create new partnerships. Thank you, Thank everyone. Thank you so much, Carlos. Bye. Pleasure.